Welcome back to Dreamweaver CS6 and today we are going to start out by creating a basic CSS cascading style sheet to affect our basic HTML web page. So let's start out by creating a new page one style sheet. And let's save that as style1.css. All right. Now we have your basic web page. We don't have much going on here, but let's go down to our class and attach a style sheet. We'll select it. Style 1. Okay. And we can see in the file URL dialog box for the attach external style sheet we have style 1 CSS. We can now see where Dreamweaver has inserted the text reference to a style sheet and it's up here in the design window. Let's start out by creating our first style. We know we're going to work with the division tag and we're going to give it a class of new text. We must always open the descriptor with a open braces and close it with a closed brace. Let's go ahead and start by describing the font family or what style of font we're going to use. And I'm going to use comic for this discussion. And let's go ahead and assign it a size. And we can always hand code this or we can use drop down menus because it is an IDE, an integrated design environment. And let's save all that. And then let's, we can go to our website and we can see that we don't have very much going on there. Just the basic hello world. Let's go back to here. And now let's enclose our text in the division tag that we just created a style for. And Dreamweaver is very good about closing open tags for us. And if we save all that, we can see that Dreamweaver shows us in the design window that we have it in a container. Now let's select in the container and the class select window and we already described new text as a class for division. Let's put it together with it. And we can see that our font has changed, both in size and what font is used. If we come down to our window for the website and refresh it, we can see that change has happened. Let's go back to Dreamweaver. Now we haven't modified our HTML other than gave it a style sheet and gave it a division with a class. Let's go to our style sheet and now let's make some changes here. First of all, let's put a background color on it. Background color and we can describe colors by color words or by numbers and let's describe it by number here and we have to close that with a semicolon and then let's describe the color of the text and in this case let's use a word a color word and let's save all that and we can see hello world is now nicely done with colors Let's further modify that. Let's say that our division, we only want it to be 200 pixels wide. And we want it only to be 200 pixels tall. And let's save all that. And we can see where in our design window it has changed 
and if we look at our final web page site, it has also changed. Now let's further modify that by saying we are going to work with the position reference of absolute and there's more to be discussed on that topic of how to positions but in this case we're going to use the absolute and let's say that we want it to be 200 pixels from the left and we want it to be the top of that to be 200 pixels down or 200 pixels from the top we can see that in our design window it doesn't show up the position it shows up the styling but not the position as well and let's go to our website and we can see that it has modified that so to refresh what we talked about is we said we created a basic HTML web page we we put in a style sheet and we described how that style works and to show why this is very convenient let's change one attribute the red the white letters to the red letters and we can see that it in fact changed it so we can see where that styling is very very helpful and time saving. That is the basics of a style sheet. Thank you for viewing. My name is Lee. Have a great day.